Welcome to uh, the Weekend Warriors latest Gaslands build. I picked up this limo from a uh, thrift store. I want to mount this guy inside so he's shooting. I printed this out on my 3D printer. It's a free figure from Thingiverse. I've also got a ram that didn't print very well so I'm just going to break this piece off. And then uh, this will mount in the front. I've got some weapons that I may try. I I'm liking the idea of mounting like some machine guns on the side and it'll cover the windows. I've also got some, like a little piece of cheap card that I'm going to use to make some uh, armor for the windows as well. So this might be a real simple build. We'll see how it ends up. Chloe, what are you working on? All right, so I chose this car just because I like the size of it and it's got a lot of space on the roof for whatever I want to do. And also because I wanted to use a ram in the front and so it's got pretty good space for a ram. And also this third piece right here that's already on it, that twist. So it's pretty nice to mount like a weapon or something onto it. It'd be pretty cool. So what I want to do, I want to, I don't know exactly what I'm going to use so far. So a lot of it's going to be kind of as I, working along as I go. Um, so I'm going to have this, I'm going to have this up here. I'm going to cut it so it fits over top of it. So it's kind of like um, in a tank for like turrets. So you can like climb up into it and kind of man this weapon. So that's what I want to do right there, and then like I said, I also have a couple rams to put on it, and then uh, other than that, I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. I've also got some thrusters and boosters that I want to use. Alright, we'll get started then. And then I'll, uh, I'll start painting this guy, I think. I think that's my plan right now, is get this guy painted. That way I can uh, get him mounted. That's my idea. I don't think I'm going to paint over this car, I think I'll rough it up and add some rust. But I, I kind of like this cheesy, uh, like the design here. I can't see what it says, limo something. Classic limo. I can't really read it. It's really tall, uh, small print. But it's got some nice white walls on it. I just think this would be a silly Gaslands vehicle. I'll add some grunge, make it look cool. But I don't think I'm going to go through the process of primering and painting it. I'm going to try to keep it like this, just add some rust to the edges. You can see there's already some some damage along the edges. This is a well-used toy, which is great. Okay, let's get started painting. What you starting on first, Chloe? I'm going to mount the first weapon. Yeah, I don't, I'm not worried about fine details yet. I'm just trying to get coverage here. So I'm not primering the figure. Uh, I've done this before, straight off the paint, off the prints, and it's worked quite well. Just painting directly onto it. As a matter of fact, the last build that we did, I believe that's what I did. I think I'm going to start gluing on some parts and making some armor. I like this right on the side there. I think it's just going to look really cool. All right, so I've got my first weapon mounted here. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to cut this to just put over it. Just so like, it kind of looks like something someone can climb into and operate the machine. I'm going to use this as a hood scoop. It's a piece from like a, a hard drive from a computer. So I'll add that as a hood scoop on the front. So I just put some hot glue over the window. Hopefully it's enough. There, and it kind of covers the windows, which is really cool. Really nice. I'll try that on this side as well. Okay, let's add a little more of that brown glue. It's pretty gross. I don't know why it's brown, don't ask. It's gross. It is gross, right? <laughs> <laughs> don't ask. It wasn't brown last time. What did <laughs> yeah, you do it since then, man? I don't know what happened to that glue. I don't know why it's brown. That's pretty nasty. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can get this thing cleaned up. I'm gonna use a knife here. I just want to trim this piece off. Hopefully, you don't see a lot of blood in this video. <laughs> oh, so I'm gluing myself. You make me nervous. Do I? Yes. Yeah. A lot of people say cut toward you. You have a little more control. But with this, I'm just not sure I want to cut toward me with this thing. Fingers keep sticking together. Mm. Got a lot of glue on them. So let's put that down for a second and I'll sand this piece. Alright, 
so I'm gonna, while he's doing that, I'm gonna mount this little, uh, what do you call this again? A ram. A ram, yeah. On the front of my truck That's what I was here. getting ready to do with mine. Mount that. I just want to sand mine down a little bit first and see if I get, I'm probably gonna put a lot of this brown glue on it. We'll see how it holds. Is hot glue gonna hold? If so, I'll hot glue mine to you. It would have, but I slipped. <laughs> You want to sand it off? Sand it off. Get it. Get, get a nice. Peeling. Yeah, but you give it a nice surface where it's kind of rough and it'll stick a little better. I'm gonna try this super glue, even though the super glue has been really terrible for me. Yeah. Come on, come on. Now just go ahead and <laughs> stick it. Let's see if this guy's dry enough. I'll have a little more gray to this guy. Let's see. Just kind of hitting it over and over. Add some coats. A lot of it kind of thick. Now I'm just going to stand them up again. I'm going to paint the bottom of his feet. So I don't think it's going to matter. I'll get that guy standing there. I'll get him a little bit dry and I'll add more. This should be easy. Let's see. I just want to find one more time. Can you put some hot glue on this? I don't think I turn it off. I think I did. Put it right there. I'm going to put this little piece here around this just because it'll help me mount oh. something onto this piece. I'm trying to get this centered. Yeah, hold on, I'll help you out. The glue, glue surprisingly is actually working on this piece, which is amazing because everything else hasn't been sticky. But this piece is actually sticking down pretty good like right away. Work. Oh yeah, you need some glue. Oh, uh, I'm probably gonna hot glue it. But can you help me with this? Sure. Do you want to glue that again? Yeah. Oh, hot glue. oh that's gonna be on the back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tell me when you're I'll need a little overkill, but I think it'll look cool. So all the all the nasty stuff's almost out. Yeah. I think my glue gun's seen better days. What? Especially mom's. <laughs> how long has it been with you and you already messed it up, Dad? What's that? Since how long have you had it and you already messed it up? I've only had it for a couple days. Your mom's had it for years and it's been fine. Well, that's actually holding pretty good. Just want to sand down the top a little bit. Alright, so next I'm going to put this on here because it kind of fits pretty snug right there. Of course, I'm still going to glue it. And then it'll be some kind of mount to some weapon once I figure that out. Alright, I'm going to put these thruster kind of things or boots on the side. Yeah. I'm going to attempt to. Some black first to all this stuff. Some black here, I'll goop on it all over this thing. Make it look a mess. Oh, the, it's so Miami Vice like the limo, you know, with the pink and the white. It's this old show from the 80s, and uh, one of the main actors, or the main characters, dressed in like pink and white. Some pastels are really popular for the time. Maybe teal. There's a couple cops. They dressed real nice. Drove a car that was very expensive. You know, nicer car than cops can probably afford. A beautiful car. One guy lived on a boat with a pet alligator. <laughs> how he had how he had money because he just rented like a dock space or something. And that could be really inexpensive. Thinking yeah. about a weapon I want to put up here. Well, it's nice small, so it doesn't. So small. 
Yeah, so it doesn't, um, <laughs> so it fits on it properly, I guess. So Chloe's just gluing on a little figure. Yeah, I made a few changes off camera. We were supposed to be getting ready to prime, yeah. but I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to change a few things so we didn't catch it. Yeah, so she, yeah, she started making some so changes, <laughs> so I think I'm going to continue working on mine yeah. until hers dries and she's yeah. ready. Oh, I'm ready now. So I switched out my turret. This small one for this bigger one, just because I didn't like the ratio. And then I added a little platform right here for this guy. And I liked him just because I thought like his posture was funny and the rest were holding guns. So it didn't work out too well. And that's it. I'm mean, good to go. Yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to glue on a couple pieces of paper for the <sighs> windows here. Now who's waiting for who? I think I've been doing this while I was doing this. That's why I started, because you weren't ready yet. <laughs> but now I am. And then you start. My goodness. <laughs> it's not posture. What is it called? That doesn't make sense. It's not. You're always po yeah, posture, pose. His pose, that's what yeah. I say. I like his pose. Posture, something. You just won't say it now, because I can always add it. So I chose this guy, because I like his posture better than the rest. Because the rest were holding it's guns. his pose? Crap! <laughs> so I chose this guy because I like his pose better than the other ones because the other ones were holding guns so it didn't work out too well and this one's just pretty funny because he's got his hands up like what am I supposed to do <laughs> or I dare you to shoot me yeah. hold it up to the camera so they can see it a little better Get it a little closer over this way. There you go. There he is. That's super blur. Yeah, it's a great pose there. Okay. Yeah, it's like, who, me? Okay. All right. Well, we'll get ready. We'll go out and I'll let this dry. We'll take yours out and we'll uh, primer it real quick. You're not priming yours? All right. We'll be back. Okay. We're back from primering Chloe's vehicle. And I've got... Uh, I've got one of the window pieces on. I'm going to go ahead and glue on the other piece. That's where I left off. But uh, we're ready to go here. But my problem is, I think I, I left my cap on my, or off my glue. But you know what? It is going to work. So let's glue this window on. And hopefully this works out. And it looks great when it's done. Oh, I, actually, I actually glue it on there. Pretty good for a second there. Ah, oh, it's really sticking to my finger. <laughs> this is awful. It's never what we want, is it? Nice silver. Should probably coat them in black like the other pieces. I think that black covers really well, so maybe I'll do that first. That's just some cheap, really cheap uh, Craft Smart paint. It works really well as a is a base coat. What are you working on, girl? Well, I'm just going to work on the smaller pieces. And I'm going to work on the main car piece. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just doing detail pieces right now. Um, not detail pieces, but defense and weapon pieces right now. Just so I can get that done right before I work on the base. The car. Basically, I'm painting what I know. Is this your third vehicle? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just painting what I already know I want the colors to be while I figure out what I want the rest of the colors to be. I'm just going to kind of set this guy down. I'm doing so, but that'll get me a, this is your fifth. a nice start. Yeah. You have to look. I have to look and count. <laughs> yes, fifth Gaslands vehicle. So I've done a few so far. I do enjoy doing this. And I watch a lot of Gaslands videos online. So, uh, the main guy I've been watching a lot of lately is Mad Eye Miniatures. I enjoy his creations. And I enjoy, you know, what he has to say. He's entertaining. And he comes up with some really cool things. That's where I learned to use computer bits as pieces 
So that's how I got the idea for this little hood scoop. Yeah, the glue works great on skin. Not so much plastic or metal. Just waiting on stuff to dry. Uh, I'm thinking about... <laughs> that was pretty much the only colors I knew I wanted to do. Yeah, the oh, rest I'm not yellow. sure about. Yeah, I want, I want the base, the, the car itself to be yellow. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to do that last. So I'm trying to figure everything else out. This is going to be one ugly limo when I'm done, but it's going to be really cool. I'm going to wash at the end. It should look really good. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> We're leaving that in the video. <laughs> no. I'm shaking it too hard. Okay. Just turn that all uh -huh. right. Cool. I'm glad this still turns. Oh, yeah. So I want to do blue, yellow, and silver, I think. I'm just not sure what should be what. Let's see how this guy looks. Let's just see brown. I should have turned the wheel yet. No, I can't see it now. Okay. Yeah, that look pretty good. Pretty ugly, but good. Look, uh, look the part for the wasteland here. I'm gonna start dry brushing with some silver here. It's just a metallic folklore folk art from Walmart. Yeah, it's decent little paint, not bad for a buck or two. A makeup brush that I got for 99 cents at the dollar store. Uh, not bad. I'll try it out. I've used it before, it works pretty good for what I'm doing here. Kind of hitting the edges here, add a little color. What I think I'll do to that eventually is add some, maybe add some blood, you know. I don't know if you ever painted anything and then you miss something later, you realize like, oh, I can't believe I missed that. That happens to me. I'm like, oh, I forgot to get that part. Especially when you're inspecting it later. Like, oh, it looks great. And then you'll see it later. You're like, oh, I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, I didn't realize how much I missed on my Jeep. You, yeah, you do that a lot. <laughs> Not you, I just mean, oh. I mean, as, you know, people tend to do that. I, I do that a lot. I really want to do a smaller car this time just so there's less to paint. Yeah. So less to miss. But I, I couldn't. I want to use a little bit of this brown just Brought it up along the edges, and then I'll want a lighter brown. I'll try to get this rust kind of look going here and there. I'll hit it on the edges here on the panels. I'm really starting to come out as rust. It's looking great on otherwise a fancy vehicle. You know, the, the most beautiful limo in the wastelands. We're doing, but I do want to make sure that there's enough everywhere that kind of makes some sense. Really make it look warm. It's just a cheap orange paint, maybe from the 99 cent store. I'm not sure, but this might work. I'm just gonna add a little orange here and there, not much. But I just want to add, do this basically the same thing, kind of put little drops here and there. You should do an acrylic pour, Dad. Oh yeah, that's right. Remember when you guys were doing some of that? Try not to cover up too much of the brown, but I do want to hit little spots here and there. Well, I might continue on with my little my little uh, soldier here. We'll see how this guy looks when we're done. I'm gonna continue using some of this brown. Now, if you guys remember from the other video. I put a little too much brown on my palette, so I've got a lot of brown to use. You know, put your name on it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do something here on my... I'm going to do a little tagging myself. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to do a tag. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. I already know what I'm going to do. i going to name my, my car first. Let's see if I can do this. I probably should do it with a, with a toothpick, you know, something where I can have a fine tip.
little blood on the front of the vehicle. So let's see how this works out. If I take this, and I'll do this. Nice blood splatters, that looks good. Put a little bit more on there. Nice. See that? That's <laughs> bloody. Like, like a zombie killing that is car. Bloody. That's right. That's what the wasteland's all about. using a new can uh, new phone and it stops recording after so long so I gotta keep paying attention to it or else I'm losing footage which is what's happening right now so I apologize but I'm just adding a wash to my vehicle I was trying to get some down inside because the inside is like really clean I don't want to make it pretty filthy looking but this is my vehicle so far it's looking pretty good um, Still trying to add some wash to it, and uh, then I'll clear coat this momentarily. It's gonna look pretty grungy, but it's a Wasteland's limo. And I got my Anarchy symbol painted in the back, which I did with the toothpick. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let this dry, and then I'm gonna clear coat mine. I think I'm done. Uh, it really turned out fantastic. I'm, I'm really proud of the way this one looks right now. We'll see how it dries. Sometimes the wash doesn't dry as well as you'd like, but it's gonna look pretty disgusting. That's for sure. It's definitely a Wasteland's vehicle. Now I got, the, got a couple machine guns, a guy in, inside with a weapon, and a ram on the front. Meanwhile, Chloe's finishing her. She's doing a, a door a different color. And a few doors. She can do a few doors, all right, a few doors different yeah, colors. I like to just yeah. torture myself. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little more ambitious than I am. When she does her cars, she gets, she does a lot more. She, she goes all out. So she tries to add as much as she can, make it as crazy as she can. So Next time I'm going to try to go simple. You always finish before me. I don't yeah, want to do it. It doesn't matter if I finish before you. That's not a big deal. But I think we're going to have a great, a great fifth video. It's going to look good. She's got a lot to do. You still got to paint your little guy. <laughs> I'm not liking it That's so right. far. <laughs> what? It looks good. I hope like when I do a wash. Oh, when you do a wash, it it's looks gonna better. It's going to change it so much. I hope so. Oh, it will. It it's going to make it look grungy. Usually I do the wash before and it looks it makes it look pretty I like the texture it gives it. Yeah. But I decided not to do the wash before because the color is so white. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll do a turntable view this time instead of the uh, Ooh. instead of some photos. Last time my photos were a little blurry. They were really blurry actually, they kinda sucked. <laughs> so, Chloe wasn't here to take pictures for me, so so I did it myself and they were pretty loud. Oh, this door's looking pretty good. So I accidentally dipped my brush into the black instead of the yellow. Sweet. <laughs> but it might just make it look kind of cool. Yeah, so. it's going to add dirt to it. I'm going to finish this door real quick. Now you got to paint the hands, the flesh. Hands. I know I need to, or I should. Yeah, you missed a spot on this. I know, I missed a lot. Alright, I'm moving on to the other doors. I think it looked good before I did the wash. The wash made it I like a the wash. too much for mine. Because I kind of liked it the way it was and the rust looked really good. But, yeah, it's probably more accurate for wastelands this way. Making it real dirty. It doesn't feel like that dirty. Oh, that works. See, because if it's dirty, it'll cover up my mistakes.
just going for it. Kind of a cool texture right there. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Nice and dirty. Filthy. Yep. Alright, I think I like doing the wash beforehand better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm never going to not do it again. Crap, the wheels aren't dry. Probably the mix with the blood, the anarchy symbol on the back. It doesn't turn out as nice, but the rust effect really looked good before I ruined it. I don't think I'll ruin it next time. I think I'll try something. I won't do a wash next time, I think. It's something. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one uh, channel, they do monthly challenges all the time, and they always have uh, like a certain subject or style they want you to do. Now, maybe we'll do some of those. You know, That'd be cool. Say, all right, this month's, uh, you know, like whatever, it's a flying build, or this one, it's going to be this kind of build. And we can do that. Yeah, that'd be cool. What I want to do for one of my videos, too. Is the art thing where we do the nouns, verbs, Oh, adjectives. yeah. I want me and you to do that. Okay. If you don't mind. I do a different video. Not, it's going to be a non-Gaslands video. You down for it? Sure. Okay, cool. You know I like that game. People will appreciate that. Yeah. I think a lot of people enjoy that. It's like, oh my gosh, that's so good. It's just going to go everywhere. Yeah, it needs to, right? Yeah. Yes, I did. Black. I wasn't sure if you did that on purpose. <laughs> I did. Did it look as good as I would have liked? No, but it's alright. The front windshield has none on it. So oh, yeah, I know. Now they do these ones. Like all the other windows. And then the uh, the, the thing in the center up top, does that have any? Yeah, it does. Huh? Just, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I see it. There you go. That's a little better. Just a little. Get you that like so much of the black on there. That's fine. That's fine. Can't get all up in this because this is unpainted. So I mean, I think it'd be silver anyway, so I left it. It's got some oil leaking, that's what this is. From, from the gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did that thing actually turn or did you put it on where it's turned? The guy on the back and the... Yeah, it still turns. It turns? Sweet. Yeah. I need to do a buggy. I need to do a small vehicle. Me too. Yeah. All right. Now all I need to do is um, the tag that I want to do. I want to do it on the hood. I'm going to do CK again. I'm just going to figure out what I want to stand for this time. I did like my dad's idea of gold killer, but I might save that for a different vehicle. So this one, I think something clobbering. But that's all I've got so far. I'll figure that out later. And I think we'll just dry for now. And here you have Prom Night. My latest contraption for the wastelands. I've got a gunner in the sunroof. Dual machine guns on the sides. Anarchy symbol in the back. Because they don't mean spec law enforcement a nice ram on the front a scoop that came from a computer uh, hard drive and a nice dirty filthy wash some armored windows and next you'll see chloe's
So this is my finished project, and I do like the way it ended up turning out. I wasn't so sure about it as I was working on it, but I do like the final piece. So I have finally come up with a name, and it's marked by the, um, the tag on the hood. It's going to be clobbering heart.